so very powerful to listen to both of you speak so eloquently about the urgency of so much of what we are experiencing collectively um, and with specific horror in relation to vulnerable communities, the, the kind of structural inequities that mark so many lives and deaths um, that we really haven't been able to account for. And I, 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 as, as I was thinking about Minnesota, I kept thinking, you know, I haven't been able to watch the trial. I have a lot of problems with um, the juridical as an answer to, to violence because I find it so profoundly violent in and of itself. And, um, and, and I do think that the protests and the, there are so many other ways in which we can do justice to the lives that were lost. And it's just so hard because it's not George Floyd's case, it's the state's case and it's about what the state needs. And, um, and so it's very, very hard because I also think there's just so many expectations, of course, that the law is the fix and it's not the fix. And to have these, you know, to have this other horrible um, violent death happen in the midst of this trial in that place at this time is just such a profound um, uh, repetition of precisely what Brandon was talking about. Um, so I just I just want to kind of adumbrate and just sort of reiterate, you know, how how painful and difficult this time has been 